Every light was doing that. I'm like, crap, what did I do? Hey channel, welcome back. This morning, I'm going to be installing these new windshield trim lights, strike windshield trim lights on the bike. Excited to see how those look. They are daytime running lights with integrated turn signals built in and they're form fitted to uh, match the contour of the fairing in the front of this goal wing. So join me today for this install and let's see what they look like when we're all done. Okay, let's start with a quick unboxing, see what all comes in the kit. Okay, this is the way the box came. These lights come in two different versions, a chrome version, which I bought, really debated between the black and the chrome. But there's chrome on the front of the bike already and chrome integrated into the headlights so I felt chrome would look best on the front of the bike. Let's see what the features are here. Bright white run lights, sequential amber turn signals, startup animation. Oh I forgot about that. Yeah that's pretty cool when you start up the bike. Uh, they do this cool uh, lighted animation thing. I'll show you that plug and play installation if you use the gold strike plug and play harness which I am not going to do you guys know I have the um, Pathfinder power accessory hub underneath my seat so I'll be wiring this into the Pathfinder power accessory hub which means I'm going to cut off the standard connector that's on these things and just hardwire it where I need it I did reach out to uh, Gold Strike for the uh, sort of schematic of the wiring, which one is turned, that sort of thing. So I have that on my phone. That way I'll, I know when I cut off these, uh, these connectors, you know, which light goes where. I mean, which wire goes where. So 3M adhesive, no drilling, that's good. We don't want to drill holes. Clear polycarbonate lens. 89 dual color LEDs per light. Total pair of 178 for the pair. That's a lot of light. Okay, I think they're going to look cool. Let's dig into this. Sturdy packaging, that's good. Impe impeccably bubble wrapped, also good. Zip ties, cable stays. Instructions, who needs instructions? Okay. see what these look like here. Oh, this is sealed. Very nice. Well, they got these packaged well. Within the bubble sealant, they have additional plastic sealant. And there's those connectors I was telling you about that we will be uh, cutting off. Pretty simple. That's what's in the pack. Let's get started. All right, we're going to start this morning first by putting the bike on the center stand. I've got it on the center stand here. That's important for anything you're going to do on the bike just to make sure it's stable while you're pulling and tugging on parts and different things. 
Next, I'm going to take off this seat because ultimately the wiring is going to come back and, and hook up under the seat. So I'm going to take the seat off next. And by the way, if you would like to learn how to take the seat off, change the oil, change the air filter, various maintenance tasks on this bike, which includes taking off a ton of tubbleware, uh, I encourage you to reach out and, and pick up Cruiseman's maintenance videos. They've helped me quite a bit and they will save you money uh, because you're doing it yourself. You're not spending all of that labor uh, money uh, at the dealership or a garage having it done for you when you can easily do it yourself. The videos pay for themselves. Go check it out on Cruiseman's site. I'll also put a link in the description below. All right, now clearly I'm going to have to clean the area off where um, these are going to adhere, but I haven't taken the backing off of this yet. I just want to do a dry fit, kind of see where they're going to, how they're going to look here. The cord goes at the top. It's going to go behind. I'll show you where that gets installed in a bit, but I'm just going to lay it up there for, for now. And then the light itself just somehow is going to fit on just like that. A little space down here at the bottom of the colored part of the fairing just above the headlight. And then these things are sort of contoured. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with this and see how the best fit is. All right, let me show you while I'm holding this down, a close-up view of how this fits. It's got a little gap down here at the bottom of it, but it's form-fitted and fits tightly along that seam, even contouring there at the top. And then the cord comes out the top here, and it's going to go behind and underneath the mirror, and then route behind the tubware back to the seat. And so that's kind of what it looks like. All right, let's go. You want to be careful with these bolts for the seat. Get your finger in there because there's a bolt and a washer. You don't want to drop it. I mean, you could probably find it, but you don't want to drop it. So, like that. get this good and clean with just some good clean water and then I'm going to go back over it in just a second with uh, some isopropyl alcohol wipes. Just here where I know the uh, 3M tape is going to be adhering. The alcohol gets any oily residue off. All right, we're going to let that dry and then I'm going to tape, get some, uh, just some painter's tape and tape these lights down in place where they should go and, and let them stay there until we get the wiring all worked out. All right, just got some uh, 3M painter's tape here. I'm going to pre-cut some strips and temporarily just st stick them here. All right, the wire goes to the top, so I'm just going to temporarily like lay the wire over top of the bike for a minute while I get this thing sort of lined up, get the wire behind here, and get this thing sort of aligned here and get it taped down with the painter's tape. Now we want about a quarter inch down here of painted surface beneath the light. There's a place where it just feels like it fits. And I'm there, so I'm gonna grab this tape now and just stick it down. Relatively in place. We'll come back in a minute, of course, and peel the 3M tape off and get it permanently in place. All right, gonna do the same thing on this side. Drape the wire over, get it up underneath the, the wire, up underneath the windshield and then just start fitting this thing in place. All right, I think that's gonna work. All right, just stand back and take a look at it. 
make sure it looks relatively yeah it's going to take some adjustment when we go to really tape it down but that's close enough for now okay i believe the next step is we need to take off the mirrors because the wire is going to route down through uh, the mirror housing and underneath the fairing as it heads towards uh, the back uh, of the motorcycle and under the seat. All right, once again, I'm not going to get into the details of taking this mirror off. Cruise Man's videos will tell you how to do that without any issue whatsoever. I'm going to put some tape here so I don't accidentally scrape the paint with this uh, Allen wrench. What I will say about taking these side mirrors off is you have to take these two bolts out and you need to stuff something in here to keep those bolts from falling down. You'll, it's going to be very difficult to retrieve those if they fall down in there. So while I'm taking these bolts out, I'm just going to stuff a piece of shop towel under there like that. And it'll keep those things from hopefully falling down in there. Okay, with the mirrors removed, um, next we need to remove this little push pin here. It's very simple. I just get a little pick like this, push the center of it, pops it in, and then you can just work it out with your fingernails. Again, be careful not to drop it down into the recesses of the fairing. And by the way, I recommend buying, uh, you can order those push pins from Honda or any place that supplies uh, gold wing parts, it's handy to have an extra set of those push pins because invariably you're going to break one or lose one or something. Uh, so they come in packs of 10 or 20, I don't know, but I go out and get you some of those because you'll find you might need them. All right, next we need to take out this Allen head screw right here. So we're going to take that out. It's either a five or a six, yeah, five millimeter. All right, because we're going to be running this wire uh, down in the center of the fairing, in the middle of the fairing, we need to separate the outer plastic from the inner plastic. And so I'm coming in from right above the front tire. This is the front tire fender looking from the front of the bike. We're going to come in here and we're going to take off a few of these uh, push pins and screws to get to to get this inner plastic layer to separate. There's a a five millimeter hex screw right there and a couple of push pins. So we're going to do that next. Next one is this uh, hex head. I mean this Allen head screw at the very top here. We're not going to take these inner liners off. We're just loosening them up. Be careful about your paint. If there's any danger of your, I'm sorry, your Allen wrench hitting your paint, make sure and put a towel or something on it. Being very careful of my front fender here. All right, next we're going to use our little pushpin tool here and we're going to take out one, two, three pushpins, or at least two, uh, because you want to be able to get this plastic piece out a little bit. You may not have to take out that top one. All right, once you got the screws and the push pins out, you pull this inner uh, plastic piece away from the outer plastic piece. And there's a couple of little tabs along this bottom edge that you kind of got to push up with your fingers and separate. So uh, it's not hard to do. Just go slow and be careful. And then this thing pulls easily out away. And you just want to set it like that. Now we're going to ultimately fish our wire through here, so I'm going to use this giant um, zip tie. And I'm going to push it up from the bottom until it comes up out at the top where the mirror is missing. Because uh, so we're going to connect the wire to it up there and then be able to pull the wire down through. Okay, like that. So I've pushed it up underneath in between the fairing and that plastic panel and fed it through right out here coming out where the mirror is now missing. So let me connect the wire, tape it here, and then I can pull the wire right back through. Now it's not very tight in there, so you don't have to have heavy duty tape here. Just get something to make sure the wire sticks to the end of the zip tie and it will feed back through there pretty clearly. You can see daylight through there, so it's gonna be pretty easy. 
All right, got it taped up. Now I'm just gonna pull it through. Sort of pull and push, you know, pull down from down below, push from up above, and wow, that came out really easy. Okay, cool. All right, let's talk about the wiring for, for a minute. Here at the top of the light, you can see where it comes out and it kinda, you know, it's gonna tape down something like that. And so this wire comes out of the top of it and it's we want to get it behind your painted fairing, but in front of this little mini window here. So to do that, you just push that mini window back a little bit and feed it down through the gap there. And so I'm gonna pull this because we're gonna want it underneath all of it, kind of like that. So just kind of work it. You can work that wire. You see how that happened? I worked it in between the glass and the paint and then around this screw in point uh, so that it's underneath like that and just sort of wraps around. All right. When you feed this wire down through the top and it's just hanging here, you want to make sure, and it's probably coming out like right here, you want to pull the wire down in between these two panels and you're going to want to fish the wire around the painted uh, eyelet here for the, for the, uh, the screw. You want to fish it behind there so that the wire is on the outside of the frame rail but on top of the engine and in between the two panels because we're going to run it back over the top of the engine from there. But that screw goes back in here and you don't want that wire pinched. So you want it behind all of this and on the outside of this frame rail right here. There's that wire now coming, coming from the front of the fairing. Uh, we're going to route it on top of the engine here. So we're just going to stick it up underneath here on top of the engine all the way to the back like so. It's just going to sit on top of the engine. All right, you can see this is where the wire is now. We want to fish it behind all this tubware so that it comes out behind right here, okay? Just like that. Now, we're going to want to get it underneath this. And the easiest way to get it underneath this is to loosen that screw right here, okay? All right, just going to kind of tuck it up underneath this plastic. Let me loosen you know, up underneath like that, up underneath like that. But let me loosen this screw, as I was saying, uh, so we can get it further back up in here. Yeah, go ahead and just take this bolt out. It is a five millimeter hex. So I'm just going to take it out here. And you're essentially going to do the same thing on the other side, guys. Exactly what I'm doing on this side. All right. Now, we ultimately want it to get back to the seat. And I don't want it pinching on this frame rail. So I'm going to work it around so that it gets behind that frame rail. You see how now that part, since we move that, loose, remove that bolt up here, this becomes a lot looser. Now it's going to be easier to just fish it on around. And so now I've got it underneath this plastic and coming out right here on the inside of the frame rail. And I'm going to hook it up to my Pathfinder LED accessory hub by splicing it in with these Wago connectors that I've already got set up for it. All right. To get this wired in with these Wago connectors, I'm going to have to cut off the connection that came with this. Again, this connection is plug and play if you're going all gold strike. I'm not. As soon as I cut this end off, I have voided my warranty on these lights. Just so you know, guys, if you cut this end off, you are voiding your warranty. Let's get at it. All right, got my clippers here. Here we go. Let's void some warranties. Ta-da! Warranty is now void. Did you hear the no the, the voice? <laughs> yeah, 
and that is what it looks like. So the wiring here is green goes to ground, orange here is the turn signal, left turn, and the brown is the running lights. Now on the right hand side, there's very similar. There's green and brown, which we know are ground and running lights. And then the, the wire in the middle obviously is the turn signal on the other side. And I think that's blue or something on that, on that side. So anyway, let me uh, strip back to this uh, wire to expose some of it and get it plugged in the right place. Got to cut back some of this sheathing. All right, cut back the sheathing here. I'll trim this off. I've got my wires separated here. Now I'm going to plug them into the appropriate Wago connector for the run, turn, or ground. All right, guys, a little word of caution. I hooked up the entire left side here and then decided to test it uh, before I went any further. Well, I turned on the bike and the uh, animation on the lights came on fine. The daytime running lights came on fine. They're white. They're really nice. I hit the turn signal and every left turn blinker I had was flashing super fast. Like you remember when you used to have a bulb burn out on a car and it makes the flashers go fast. Every light was doing that. I'm like, crap, what did I do? Couldn't figure it out. Pulled every bit of this new light out of the harness and tried it again. Still fast flashing. I'm like, man, I have screwed up something. And then I realized, oh, well, dang, it doesn't have a complete circuit. I have removed the left side mirror. It has that has an integrated turn signal in the mirror. It's not connected. That could be affecting it. Plug the mirror back in. Plugged everything back in. Turn it on. Everything's working fine. So just know guys, everything has to be reconnected on your bike before you can test these things out and see an actual result. Whew, man. All right guys, I've got it all wired up. Got all the mirrors put back on, all the rivets put in place, all the screws back in place, and now it's time to tape this guy down. Now I would suggest raising your windshield then turning the bike off so that the windshield stays raised so you have some room to work here. Uh, you're going to want to line it up about a quarter inch above this painted body line down here and then it's just going to follow. Make sure that that cord is a above the outer fairing here not below okay it's above and it should be if we if you follow the instructions so far and so about a quarter inch there then it's going to follow this body line the bend in the fairing right here it's going to follow that body line and then very careful here and i'm doing this before i pull off the 3m tape just so i can see how it's going to you know fit All right, moment of truth, guys. Let's tape it down. All right, peel the tape off. I'm just pressing and holding now. I think I've got it lined up. It's following the body line. It's quarter inch above that, as I've said. And I'm just gonna press it for about 30 seconds and let this 3M tape take hold. Now this upper part here is gonna stick up above the painted fairing by eighth or a quarter of an inch that's okay the trick is going to be getting the other side to match it <laughs> all right let's do the other side again before i remove the backing on the 3m tape i'm just gonna sort of line this up <laughs> your cable back here is pretty tight because you've hooked everything up so that's what's really going to hold you up and you want to make sure that the proportions are the same. How high you got it, how aligned with the body line you've got it. Boy, if you get that a quarter inch and you line it with that body line, the top can just do what it wants to do. That's a great, great design. All right, let's go. All right, I think I got it close enough. All you OCD people, turn away. Hold it down for 30 seconds. 
All right, boys and girls, nothing left to do but put on the seat. Get her all wrapped up. So here is the Strike windshield lights. Daytime running lights. Integrated turn signals. Let's turn it on and see what it looks like. There you go. You got a little bit of animation going on when you first turn it on and then these white running lights that accent so well with the headlights. And then the turn signals. Very nice. Yep, very happy with this product. Very happy with the install. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this installation video. Thank you for joining me, channel. Until we talk again, ride safe and God bless.